हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज पार्ट सिक्स ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज ऑन आई टू सी प्रोटोकॉल एंड इन अवर प्रीवियस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड लेक्चर्स डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट स्टार्ट कंडीशन स्टॉप कंडीशन हाउ वेलिडेट आई सेंट एक्नोलिमेंट विट नॉट एक्नोलिमेंट विट एंड मैनी अदर थिंग्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट and now without wasting much time let us get started friends as we have discussed many things about i2c protocol and now the question is how does complete data transfers occur on i2c bus those who knows its answer please write it down in the comment section otherwise let me reveal its answer as we know that there are two lines sda and scl line and whenever master wants to communicate with any of the slave it has to give the start condition and we have discussed it in detail as we know that in i2c bus a master can be connected to many slaves so in the beginning it has to send the address of the slave to which it wants to communicate and that address is 7 bit address but as per i2c protocol we always send one byte at a time and then the acknowledgement bit comes from the other side now the eighth bit here is whether master wants to write something into the slave or it wants to read something from the slave so this bit is called read write bit once this address and read write bit is sent then next acknowledgement is sent by the slave friends once the acknowledgement bit is received by the master now depending upon the read or write operation the control is given to the master or slave if it is the write operation then master will be the transmitter and slave will be the receiver if it is a read operation as per this read write bit then slave become the transmitter and master become the receiver so in short i can say that data byte starts coming so this data can be either from master or slave depending upon who is a transmitter and transmitter is decided by this read write bit and after this one byte other side gives the acknowledgement bit this is first byte similarly n number of bytes can be sent from the transmitter to the receiver and other side has to acknowledge and once the transfer is over the stop condition is generated by the master friends i hope that this complete data transfer on i2c bus is understood by you if till you have any query please write it down in the comment section i can reply there now let us move towards your next question and the next question is what is sent first msb or lsb bit of address and data because i2c communication is a serial communication right on the receiver side should know whatever bit is coming first is it msb or lsb those who knows its answer please write it down in the comment section otherwise i am going to reveal it friends on i2c bus firstly we send the msb bit then we send the lsb bit if it is address then msb bit of address is sent first then lsb bit is sent similarly if it is a data firstly we send the msb bit of the byte then we send the lsb bit of the byte i hope you understood it friends i am showing you this diagram just for more elaboration purpose and i have a question for you also so here i am showing complete data write operation so firstly start condition is generated by the master and then seven bit target address is given along with the read write bit here for write operation this bit will be zero then this acknowledgement bit will come from the slave in the ninth clock cycle after that master will send the one byte then slave will give the acknowledgement then second byte will be transmitted again slave will give the acknowledgement and once master knows that the write data transfer is done it will give the stop condition friends now i have a question for you and the question is master is sending data to the slave but where is this data written in the slave nowhere i specified where the slave should write this data what should slave do with this data this is my question to you if you know its answer please write it down in the comment section otherwise i will answer it in the upcoming videos friends this is a data read operation this diagram is just for more elaboration 
and I want to ask you one question also. In this read operation, firstly the read operation is initiated by the master by using the start condition and then target address is given that is the slave address which is 7 bits long and then this read write bit for the read operation this bit will be 1. Then this acknowledgement comes from the slave side and the control of the bus is given to the slave and then slave send this first byte and then master gives acknowledgement again this day second byte is given by the slave and then knack is given by the master because master knows that it only needs to receive two bytes of data from the slave and then master can initiate a stop condition but friends now i have a question for you and the question is from where slave is reading this data Slave can have multiple registers, multiple memories, it can be a big device. But nowhere master has specified from where inside the slave it should read data. And this question is for you. If you know its answer, please write it down in the comment section. Otherwise, I will give its answer in the upcoming videos. And with this friends, I am going to end this video session. And I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. And in future also, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your support.